Hello everyone and welcome back to Build Order Tutorials. This time we have a PVT from Parting showing off a very popular build a couple months ago that he took and used and worked with and made good and blah 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 because he's parting. It's the Max Packs, the proxy gateway to start things off. So with that said, send out a probe to your opponent's side of the map. Pylon in base. Proxy Pylon. Gateway, and use that proxy probe to scout your opponent. Assimilator, you're going to rally your probes into that gas. Chrono a Zealot and build a 7x4 back at home. Nexus. Another Zealot. Chrono that as well. Assimilator. Again, rallying the probes one by one. Start your attack into the Terran's natural. Start up a stalker and chrono that. Start warp gate. Start a second stalker. Twilight Council, Chrono, your natural base. Get another soccer. Get a second gateway, start up Blink and Chrono. Blink. Robo. And another gateway. Get a pylon. From here on out, just remember not to get supply blocked. Chrono Blink again. Warp in a Sentry. Get an Assimilator. Warp in stalkers as you can afford them. Chrono blink again and get an observer. Remember to fill up your assimilator. 
Around now is a typical time for a wood of my drop, so be prepared for that. Continue warping in stalkers in proxy, as you can afford it, while also producing double probes. Get another observer. Around now, you should have about five or six stalkers to continue pressuring, now with blink, and continue warping in stalkers as you see fit in proxy. Stalkers again. Chrono out a warp prism. Start another assimilator. Continue pressuring. More soccer warp ins. Grab a forge. Consider what you want to do from here on out. Continue warping in or focus more on macroing. Harding gets a robotics bay, follows up with some disruptors or colossus. You could grab a third nexus, start up charge. It's up to you. But uh, just macro. Now onto the build discussion. The strength of the build. It grabs a lot of early command center cancels. There are not a lot of Terrans who automatically put their CC on the high ground or SCV scout because this has gone out of the meta for the past couple of months. So you're going to grab a lot of early leads. It's great against no SCV scout, which yeah, not many people are doing. Some people definitely do. But if they don't SCV scout, you're probably going to get uh, a good start to your game. This build can continue to poke for extended periods of time. I mean, if you watch parting in the actual video, you'll see that he just constantly is putting the Terran under pressure, even denying his scouting and making sure to catch the Reaper. So it's really good at just keeping up the aggression. It macros well. It's one of the initial strengths that people were like, wow, this build is genius, is that it could provide aggression, really strong aggression. Cancel on the command center is a big deal, but then also macro uh, pretty darn well back at home. You're continuously making probes. The follow-up blink aggression that Parting chooses to do here is also just going to be nice for maybe grabbing a free victory if your opponent is really scrambling, but also just continuing to pressure and scout while you do your thing back at home. The weaknesses. An SCV scout can negate the power of the build, in the same way that no SCV scout this is powerful against, an SCV scout this is weak against. They can build the command center on the high ground, or open up with a marauder slow build, which will take care of this pretty well and even have potential for a counter. This build does require good multitasking, and this is not a build where you're hoping for mostly nothing to happen in the game, maybe a 5 minute wood of mine drop and that's it, and you're macroing and not being touched and not having to worry. No, you're going to have to constantly be aware of your units and using them to their fullest strength, which can be difficult, so this is a bit of an advanced build. Against a Terran proxying you, let's just say things get awkward. Uh, it's not that it's an automatic loss, necessarily, but yeah, you're going to go into a bit of a base trade scenario. Obviously, if they find your gateway and depower it, you're not in a whole lot of production, but... The good news is you should be able to scout it, uh, as you do get a probe scout around a similar time as a gateway scout, I want to say, is what he did. So you can try and <laughs> find some way to handle it, but it will be really weird. You're getting your production on the other side of the map and trying to bring it home doesn't usually work out very well. Some tips and tricks. You can use the Nexus energy to recall your Zealot or Stalker back home if the Reaper does go across the map. Now, if the Reaper goes across the map, they are giving up protection of their own base, so this is not necessarily the smartest thing a Terran can do, especially if they've actually let your Zealots into their main base, then they'll probably lose more than the damage they'll deal to you. You could also try pulling probes against it because you're going to be both be microing on two different fronts, but the recall is probably the safer choice and one of the strengths of the build, again, that people were like, wow, this is amazing. The blink follow-up is Parting's choice. You can follow up with a Stargate, a Robo, Macro, or All-In, etc. There's going to be a lot of different offshoots for this build, 
that you can find uh, amongst many pro replays. Consider location hotkeying your gateway or Terran natural for quick reactions. If you don't already do location hotkey, it is really advisable. It's really, really nice. And if you already do it, but usually you have your third and fourth hotkeyed, I mean, you're not going to have those for a while. So consider using whatever buttons those are to actually watch the front of the uh, Terran natural. Of course, you can do this just by hotkeying your stalkers as well, but whatever gets you there fastest. And finally, one thing you might have noted watching the actual video is that Parting, uh, he put that probe on patrol in the natural choke of his opponents, a little bit farther out actually. But the point is, you don't want to just immediately scout after that zealot pops, because, or while the zealot is building rather, because they might be like, well, that's a really oddly early scout, I'm a little suspicious. So if you wait a little while longer, you're still getting a decent scout on their barracks timing, you're still going to get a little bit of that probe harassment, but it's going to look less suspicious. And that just about does it. I hope you guys enjoy this very multitasking heavy build. It's going to be a lot more action packed and some of the macro builds you might be doing. So if you're like, man, Protoss is really boring. I really want to do something aggressive. Check out this build because it can actually be both aggressive and macro oriented. So I do, uh, I suggest putting it into your build order notebook. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please follow this channel as well as check me out on Twitch twitch.tv slash zombie grub and I'll see you next time with another build order.